Hello everyone, good morning to all of you and welcome to our FB Live today. Um, today is the last Saturday of February. Yeah, uh, it has uh, been very exciting month. Yeah, uh, and today is also the first day of school uh, studying in national schools. Yeah, um, being the first day of school holiday, I am pretty sure uh, after this you will be going out to the public yeah um or go to shopping malls but do please keep in mind that um even though if you go out please make sure that you take good care of yourself um and continue to practice the proper sop yeah so that uh we keep ourselves safe all right now uh my name is joey and i am a craft instructor from craft space today we are going to talk about um, a very interesting topic of what we have been doing and we have been understanding so far yeah uh, throughout the uh, many months or many weeks of uh, our fb life we have been talking specific animals or specific um, species yeah of our um, the uh, ecosystem or the uh, wildlife right so today we are going to talk um, a little bit about the general yeah uh, so that is why we have picked up this um, very special day which is world wildlife day right so what is world wildlife day and when is it happening so that is what we are going to find out and why is this day so important right um, the purpose of this is to make sure that all of us play a part to understand and appreciate um, the natural resources that we have and at the same time preserve yeah uh, so that our next generation and the generations after that will have an opportunity to also witness the uh, uniqueness of all these um, natural resources that we actually enjoy, hopefully not um, uh, abused it. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit of history of our World Wildlife Day, right? So the United Nations um, General Assembly ratified World Wildlife Day on initially yeah is on 20th of December. So um, from year 2013 it was on um, 20th of December. All right. Thailand, our neighbor, yeah, actually initially proposed the day with the goal of raising awareness of the poor state of the world's animals and vegetation means the flora and fauna yeah um, however at its uh, 68th session um, the uh, united nations general assembly proclaimed 3rd march the day of the uh, signature of the uh, convention of international trade in endangered species of wild fauna and flora in 1973 as un world wildlife day to celebrate and raise awareness of the world's wild animals and plants. So at the uh, 68th session uh, of the uh, General Assembly, so they actually changed the date to 3rd March. Yeah, so that is why we are celebrating World Wildlife Day now on 3rd March every year. All right, so this re resolution also designated the um, um, Secretariat as the facilitator for the global observance of this special day for wildlife yeah, uh, on their calendar. Now, um, it, has, oh, it has already become a uh, most important um, event, yeah, raising awareness about threatened and endangered plants and animals. Now, we are going to talk a little bit about why um, it has to be a highlight or an uh, important uh, issues that we need to really really look and focus into right now this year now every year when we celebrate world wildlife day right um, there is always a theme that comes together so that everyone will focus to achieve the common goal yeah so this year um, coincidentally it is about recovering key species for ecosystem restoration what does it mean okay what does it mean Okay, so we are going to talk a little bit about ecosystem later on as well, right? So we need to make sure that 
it goes back to the balance yeah all right so what is ecosystem now ecosystem is all about the uh, living things yeah which includes the plants and the animals that lives within an area and their interaction among each other all right so every plant and animal has a role to play yeah so they interact with each other and they play a role so that is how they keep the whole cycle balanced yeah if let's say we have one more than the other then it will make the situation very uh, imbalanced yeah so that is the reason why we have to make sure that we have a balanced ecosystem all right okay so the celebration will seek to draw attention to the conservation status of some of the most critically endangered species of wild fauna and flora now fauna is animals yeah and flora is plants and flowers yeah and to drive discussions towards imagining and implementing solutions to conserve them all right so um, as a planet we currently face the issue of over exploiting our marine species for example okay so now marine species is like fish squid uh, prawns and everything that it, that you can find in the ocean yeah so through uh, global mass consumption human impact has not only generated pollution um, and destroyed coastal habitats but also caused irreversible damage damages yeah so according to the uh, data from the international union for conservation of nature Red list of threatened species, for example, over 8,400 species of wild fauna and flora are critically endangered, while close to 30,000, 30, yeah, 30,000 more are understood to be endangered or vulnerable. Now, based on these estimates, it is suggested that over a million species are threatened with extinction. Okay. So now we have to understand the category, yeah? Uh, there are threatened species. What does it mean by threatened species? Now, threatened species are species of either the plant or animal that are on the brink of being endangered. Means they are still available. It's just that their numbers are dropping, right? So that is why it is in the category of an, uh, threatened species. Now we also have endangered species. Okay. Now endangered species means any species of um, plant or animal that is in the danger of extinction. Means they are going to disappear very soon. All right. Now extinct species in the wild. Okay. Now uh, extinct species there are two categories. One is in the wild. The other one is not in the wild. Okay. So extinct species in the wild means that plants and animals that are no longer exist, they have already died. All right. So those are the plants and animals that we will not be able to see anymore. Um, I think one of the good example will be say dodo bird. I don't think we can find dodo bird anymore. So that is extinct species. All right. And then the other one, um, extinct.